Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another very exciting video. I just wanted to talk about the Pokemon Direct we just witnessed. Not sure if you can tell, I'm kind of a Pokemon fan. So first up in the video we got all this nostalgic throwback, which I didn't really care too much for. I'm here for Pokemon news. Pokemon is nostalgic enough on its own, I don't need a recap. So let's get to the exciting part. We are going to look at more of the items we can use, so there's going to be a fluff fruit, not an apple. Um, we're going to have melodies, I don't know if there was a poker flute thrown in there, but... Yeah, it doesn't sound like they're using the term poker flute in this game. They got rid of pesto balls, which in this day and age would not have held up quite so well. You see, the thing is, it wouldn't be very PC to have pesto balls. So these things are called Illumina Orbs. They are going to make Pokemon glow and they're even going to change the color of fire. So it looks like we're going to have sharing features and we are going to be able to edit our pictures. However, the example shown to us was not exactly the way a professional photographer would edit their pictures. One of the exciting things is there's going to be this feature where you can share your photos. You see, because you're on rails, you're not really going to be able to get many different angles of the Pokemon. And there are three items we can use. But again, there's only going to be so many ways that we're going to be able to take the picture of a Pokemon. So in the end, a lot of people are going to wind up with similar types of shots. However, time will tell if a Pokemon has a set path to run through every time you play through a level, or if it has different behaviours through each playthrough. Because you see, the latter will provide us a more variety of different types of shots we can get. And in photography, that is super important. And yeah, they spoiled the fact that Selby is going to be in this game. Now, they also announced some exciting things that are going to happen in Pokemon Sword and Shield and the mobile phone games and whatever else they announced. Which, to be honest, isn't that exciting for me because I don't play any of that stuff. I only played the story mode in Pokemon Sword and Shield and I never touched the rest of the game. I downloaded the DLC, but I never played it. Now, we were expecting a Diamond and Pearl remake and we got it. Diamond and Pearl, not exactly my favourite generation, but I'm hoping these updated graphics will make me enjoy it more. I'm kind of disappointed that the graphics don't resemble that of Sword and Shield more, but it does remind me of Link's Awakening. Which is by no means a bad thing. I'm still excited to check out this game. Now, the next thing that was announced came out of the blue. I had not heard of anyone talking about it. And by George, I liked it. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Just between you and me, I've been pronouncing it Arceus all these years. My bad. Um, so this game looks sick. It looks like an open world Pokemon adventure. It looks like we're gonna be catching Pokemon with Pokeballs in the style of a third person shooter. I could have sworn I saw camera controls in there. I saw them going up and down. Hopefully there's gonna be a left and right. I'm hopeful. That would be really exciting to see. Look how formulaic the Pokemon experience has been in the mainline series all these years. Simple camera movements have gotten me excited. But yeah, it's set up as a prequel and it looks like our mission is going to be to fill up the Sinnoh Pokedex. Anyways, I'm really excited for this game. It looks awesome. I'm really excited for the prospect of an open world Pokemon game. I've wanted this for a long time, but because the Pokemon franchise has been so set in its ways for so many years, I thought I'd never live to see the day. But here we are. Well, I may not live to see 2022, but currently it is within my plans to continue existing well into next year. But yeah, I'm super excited to play this game in early 2022. Hopefully by early they mean January because there's nothing ever out in January and we need something to do in January. Anyways, let me know what you thought of the Pokemon Direct in the comment section below. Are you excited? Are you not? Tell me why. Anyways, that's it for me. See ya.